Hello, my loves. Welcome back. This is Divine Masculine reading. Square set intention to connect with Divine Masculine energy. The parts of us that need to be active. The parts of us that need to be protective. The parts of us that are the advocate. Or you may be connecting with an actual Divine Masculine energy. My angels and guides from the highest heights of the universe, I thank you so much for your presence in our life now. Divine, I call out to you and ask for guidance and clarity. The Five of Pentacles has been showing up a lot lately, so Divine Masculine may be feeling down and out. Divine, I ask that you speak to me through the tarot, that you help me to connect in full with divine masculine energy so that I'm able to give an accurate reading for all that this reading is meant to serve for their highest and greatest good. Protect me as I do my work and protect the viewer as they receive the messages at this moment in time. I also want to thank you guys so much for being here on the YouTube channel and allowing me to be of service to you in this moment in time. It's always an honor. It's always a blessing. And I hope that this reading reaches you with perfect divine timing. Big transformation, big transitions are happening. I don't know why I'm seeing a leech, the energy of a leech. I'm hearing um, blood. So just really, yeah, too much. Um, be very careful about who and what you're sharing your energy with. Um, or Divine Masculine needs to be very careful about who and what they're sharing their energy with. Three of Cups right now doesn't feel good. It's... Um, pulling something of access or I'm actually hearing an abscess and I'm sorry to share this message but it feels like something that's like pus filled so it could be an infection if this if you are a female or you identify as a female and you're here to connect to the divine masculine within yourself this is a warning or a cautionary tale, tale that there's something here that is po not poisonous but infected and needs to be pulled away I don't know if you guys know this, but there is such a thing called um, leeching. And my mom was actually telling me about this. It's um, trigger alert, but they put a leech on rotting flesh and eat the flesh to help make sure that the infection doesn't spread within the body. Three of Cups reverse is too much of something. This could be emotional, an emotional attachment. This could be... A, um, an imbalance within the body it could be an imbalance with the mind but something needs to be worked on right now to remove what is infected in your life yeah ten of cups reverse is definitely giving more yep and then ace of swords this is literally cutting off the part of you or the part that wants to attach itself to you and may spread um for your highest and greatest good, for your best interest. Sometimes with Ten of Cups, of course, when it's reversed, this talks about your happily ever after, like your vision of what is going to make you happy and whole and complete. However, if there's something, if too much of anything is not good, and I will say that lately there's been a lot of temperance energy here that's been showing up, and this is about moderation, it's about self-control, it's about um, taking accountability also, um, and working with, you know, different different types of energies to make a healthy balance that works out for your best interest and also the best interest of other people. So sometimes um, it's not like an easy um, or a direct, well, sometimes it is a direct answer, especially with the Ace of Swords, but there does seem like there's something that you need to fully address, abrate, um, observe, see, and pull off of your energy or maybe you need to do a full energy cleansing of your space at this moment in time 
um, chariot card is here reversed. So let's go ahead and see what, I don't even know what to do right now as far as like, how do I want to shuffle this? Yeah, world card is here. Um, this is something that needs to be called into, and needs to complete. It's a cycle that needs to be completed. I really feel like the guides are talking to you about what is too much in access in, in excess here. What is too much? Um, Spirit is talking about also getting clear in your mind, getting clear in your head. If there's something that is that you're holding on to that is stealing your joy, it's time to remove that. It's time to confront it and remove that. And it's time for you to move forward. The world card here says divine masculine. It's time for you to mature, level up, accept something for what it is and move forward. Yeah, spirit is seeing um, eight of swords reversed here that you might have been staying in this space where you have been called to see something a certain way, but you refuse to see it or you refuse to accept the truth. Now spirit is saying that and, and something that you refuse to acknowledge or something that you refuse to deal with has now started to turn into an infection. This could be a spiritual infection. This could be an emotional infection. It could be an infection in the body, but we have to deal with it exactly. The next card to jump out is the Fool card, and this represents spirit wanting so badly to give you a fresh start, fresh beginning, and to not bring anything that's infected with you into the new year. It's really time to just completely let it go. Hermit card is the next card to jump out, and there's this need to self-reflect, and there's this need to self-observe and to even focus more on healing divine masculine really needs a lot of time to heal there is sometimes with the hermit card a need for i just heard institution so that's really interesting but there is sometimes with the hermit card there's a need to go to others for healing this could be you disconnecting divine masculine you're disconnecting from the outside world pulling away from your friends, pulling away from your family, or pulling away from people that have your best interests at heart um, and work on healing or seeing the parts of you that need to be addressed, that needs to be um, made right. I'm seeing something being pushed upright. So I don't know why I'm seeing this vision of like a temple. I'm hearing spirit saying it's like a temple, but a garden. So it's all these different stone sculptures that you're around and those things have been pushed down. This used to be a sacred land. This used to be something that's sacred and valuable, but because of the battles that you've been fighting in your own life or that the divine masculine has been fighting, those sculptures have been pushed over on their side. So now spirit is saying to start pulling those sculptures up and making your world, your world, a better place. Um, I feel I do get a strong sense that Divine Masculine has been neglecting something and Spirit simply will not allow it any longer. Um, if you do allow this to continue to fester, whatever this thing is, it will a, a small problem can turn into a big problem. So the thing that if you're feminine energy, and you're tapping into the divine masculine energy within yourself, it's absolutely imperative for you to see, address, and cut out anything that is an infection on you or on your energy or in anything that's important and valuable to you. Yeah, I when I saw Three of Swords just now, I'm seeing the energy of like something being bled out. Yeah, okay, and here we go. We have healing. Wow, do you see how all of a sudden this energy changed? We have the star card and then we have four of wands after we have gone through the erection process erecting process i can't believe they said erection but we are divine masculine energy so that that might be a message for someone but it's you're you're picking up what has been broken down um within your own sacred space this could be your self-esteem this could be your home environment if you're picking up the pieces after major major transformation and revelation in your own life this is about picking up those parts and dusting everything out and clearing it out so that you can have a fresh start a new beginning divine masculine energy it's absolutely imperative for you to let go of this space of too much for some of you guys this might actually even break down to very specifically like drinking too much eating too much um drugs alcohol your diet has been wonky 
or it's been skewed left so you've gone too much into indulging it's made you lazy it's made you abrasive it's made you sluggish in nature it's made you sick it's confined you and contained you and now at this moment in time spirit is telling you to it's time to really you know let it go and create a fresh start for yourself and a healthier start for yourself especially when we have the world card here it's at, if you don't do this that's the thing guys that um if divine masculine doesn't do this then the universe will do it for them and that's not something that i think that you are going to want you're 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 going to want to take it upon yourself to create a fresh start if there's doctors that you need to go to go to that doctor if there's someone that you need to talk to go to talk to that person make that appointment if there's someone that has been draining you and you've been afraid of loneliness or isolation then it's time for you to to face that okay divine masculine that's the energy that you should be dealing with divine masculine right now i don't know what if this is an actual male figure i don't know what you have gotten yourself involved in um but it's time for you to do the right thing. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but it's time for you to do the right thing. Um, divine Feminine, if you're involved in masculine energy, then Divine Feminine, it's absolutely important that imperative that you pull, not pull away from this energy, but withdraw in it enough so that Divine Masculine can focus on healing for themselves and fixing the imbalance that has happened within them because it's so significant that the leech energy was the first thing to jump out here it just feels like something needs to be cut off um i just heard catheterized um i'm pretty sure that's when they solder like a like a source of and that's the thing too it's interesting that leeches drink blood and catheterization is i think the i don't know you guys have to let me know down in the comments what that is yeah, strength card here. It's going to help. It's It talks about like life vitality, your blood source energy. For some of you guys, um, regardless of whether you identify as a feminine or masculine energy, you, you're going to want to do, I, I'm hearing like blood work, get your blood work done. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yep. This is going to a doctor, um, Queen of Swords and Ace of Cups, going to a doctor and just looking at how the blood is flowing, what nutrients are available in the blood. If there's an imbalance in the blood, the blood tells a lot about the entirety of the body. So just go ahead and ask for that if you have the option to do that. Yep, Ten of Swords. This will help you to kind of end and dead anything that might turn into a problem later. You want to see it, catch it now before it turns into a bigger issue. Um, and just to remind you guys, Divine Masculine Energy doesn't always show an actual male person or someone who identifies as Masculine Energy. It is the part of us that needs to be called into action. So regardless of who you are, if this message is resonating with you and you feel it called in your spirit, then go ahead and respond to that call and start making moves in that in that way. Okay? Any additional messages before I start moving into the oracle? For Divine Masculine Energy. Some of you guys are really have been putting things off. Um, someone is waiting for someone else to make a call or someone is waiting for someone else to do the work for them. And Spirit's just saying, you you have to do this. You're going to want to do this for yourself. Or if, if, if you're asking for help or asking for some type of resource and they keep putting you off, yeah, it's just time for you to do it for yourself because if not, you're going to be luck stuck waiting for someone else to take control of the things that you should be taking control of. It's time for you to do it yourself. If this also there's this really strong message when it comes to business that do things to enforce your business or do things to protect your work. I'm also seeing for some reason I'm seeing a strong message about enforcing your boundaries within your work. As I don't know why, but I'm hearing especially now during the holidays, someone feels very used and abused by the organization that they're working with or that's a very specific message. Let's see what else we have here. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. That's exactly what I was saying. It's just the, the heavy, the, the responsibilities of work. Yeah, see? This is exactly what I'm talking about. We have Three of Pentacles here and the Four of Swords. 
So it, it, you might be working for an organization or you might be working on a project or working with other people or just work in general. Um, if this is you ho maintaining a family, um, let's say you homeschool, let's say you're homemaker, so you're, you take care of the home, you're cooking, cleaning, all of those things. It's, you know, maybe for like a week, just kind of let everything go to the wayside. If you can, just to give yourself a break to allow some, some rest, because I am seeing an imbalance here and it does feel like there's a lot of energies that are kind of like leeching off of you right now. Kind of let some things fall to the wayside. I know that that's not your typical nature, but you'd be surprised. I also feel like you might actually get some help. Um, if you allow things to kind of like crumble and fall for a little bit, if that makes any sense, but allow your, like, allow your judgment to speak for itself, allow your intuition to speak for itself, okay? So I did pull some oracle cards for you guys. I know that this is divine masculine reading, but I felt really called to work with goddess energy here. Wow. So we're going with a bang with NYX Secrets, NYX. Um, this is a little troubling for me, honestly, because this is telling me, again, there might be something that you'll find in the blood, or you might find something that Divine Masculine needs to address and needs to take care of and needs to cut things out. I do want to say that it does concern me. Let's say this is someone checking in into a relationship with someone, your current standing or your current status with someone. There does seem to be a possibility that there's a third party here kind of pulling and leeching energy. Um, also with Divine Masculine Energy, um, it's funny because I did say the E word. I don't want to say it now, like in case I might offend somebody. Um, but it's like if a Divine Masculine is connecting with other feminine energy, or if you're connecting with different energies, then you're bleeding out very strong life force energy that could be used to build. If, if Let's say you're not, I don't know how to say this, but like masculine energy holds a power and through its essence, <laughs> I'll say that. And if it is something that is getting disposed of or scattered about, then the same thing is happening with their energy. Um, or if something has access to you, you'd be surprised how many um, energetic blockages or energetic cords that you're creating. So make sure, I, I know that sometimes we can't tell when someone's holding secrets from us because they're literally putting in effort to block you from knowing, knowing the truth of something. But if you get a sense that there is a leech or some type of energy here, that's making you sick or making you draining your energy or the vibe feels off, trust that. Yeah, wow. We have the truth and we have illusion. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. It just feels like Divine Masculine might be hiding something or there's a truth that you may not wanting to see that you might be resisting. Um... It's, I'm hearing it's really time to come out of the dark with something. If this doesn't involve an actual person, then this is you going to a master, whether it be whatever that professional is, going and seeking them, actively going out and seeking. That's divine masculine energy, going out and seeking in order to find the truth, to find healing, to strip you of the illusion so that you can fix a problem. And if not then the alternative is for you to stay in the cloudy space, for you to refuse to see something for what it is, and then inevitably deal with the consequences of that, which could have been avoided. I hope this reading resonates. I know that sometimes, you know, these readings can be very um, intense sometimes. However, the guides are always trying to give us guidance and clarity into situations so that we can live better, fruitful, prosperous, abundant, healthy, balanced lives. And that's usually what you find here. Also, keep in mind, guys, I'm an autumn, autumn equinox baby. So I work in both realms, the shadow and the light here. So that's what it is that you're seeing. Um, 
Yeah, Seven of Wands reversed, Page of Swords reversed, Four of Pentacles. This is about really not running away from the truth, not hiding away from the truth, not hiding away from information that would be very ben beneficial to you. Sometimes we can lock ourselves in a situation and just be like, you know what, I'm fine here. When Spirit says, I know that you feel that way, honey, but like, let's get you out of the situation because there is something that's better out there for you, something that's more balanced, something that's more healthy. Um, so just kind of allow yourself to see something for what it is. Page of Swords. Don't, if you are getting a strong sense to ask some questions or something doesn't feel right, then honor that because chances are that it is true and accurate and your guides are here to help you navigate through those things, okay? Or at least divine masculine. All right, my loves. So thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. Thank you so much for um, tuning in to hear this reading. Hopefully it was beneficial to you. Hopefully it met you with divine timing. Please let me know down in the comments how things are panning out for you. If you need any of my help, you can find me at bahadilife.com, working my magic per usual. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.